Hey, Chris Lipe here with Addo, Fleeting Lullaby. I was told this is the next one that I needed to experience. Thank you so much for all of your suggestions. I'm going to keep doing these Addo videos as long as you guys keep enjoying my first time experience with each one of these songs. I cannot believe how much variety and how much I'm learning about my own voice by studying Addo's approach. <laughs> Okay, we have to go back and listen to this amazing transition here. <laughs> that growl, it's connecting to the cat in two different ways, right? There's this which sort of sounds that uh, 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 <laughs> that sort of has that growl approach, but she's making it musical. And then it's a growl. It's aggressive. And you see the cat go, you know, an amazing way to connect a vocal performance with a character and storyline, which is something that Ado does so incredibly well. But then listen to what she does with her vocal posture right afterward. Listen to the contrast here. We have this. Dark, dark, then... Brightens up in this sort of playful way. Not afraid of sounding dumb. I'm not. She's not either. That's why she sounds so awesome. Now listen. Listen, baby kid. There's almost this baby talk going on in her singing. And then vacillating between this this very bright, playful, like sort of baby talky sound, and then being a little bit more authority driven. The masterful nature of Addo's vocal tone is not because she's trying to have good tone. She is embracing all sorts of characters, all sorts of stories that are connected with what she's singing about. And she's making those come to life with all sorts of different playful tonalities and sounds. This is why we enjoy the journey we go on so much with each and every Addo song. She's an animator with her voice. Singing and using your voice like this really flies in the face of what you would normally think of as practicing voice or learning how to sing. When really taking this approach first rather than a technical or methodical approach is the best way to learn. If you would like help learning in this way, click the link below, either in the pinned comment or the video description and join my free course. I'll help you unlock things like distortion and extended range, all through being playful and free. <laughs> Ooh, listen to that. Be my good, good, good boys. No. I'm going to lower it and put it in a more comfortable area of my voice so I can illustrate. Be my good, good, good boy. Be my good, good, good. Notice how good is gritty. There's air being held back. Like you're lifting something heavy. Just on that one note. She's not going for an overall gritty sound, but she's introducing that for just a short moment, which engages the aggressive nature of the whole line. We just needed one note, one syllable. Lots of vocalists will try to be gritty for too long, burning out their voice and also making their performance too one-dimensional. When, when you really listen, 
The singer isn't being gritty the whole time. They're being gritty some of the time, or maybe just a small amount of time. But the aggression is made. The point of the aggression is made with very little. Less is more. Everything else there was clean. the last time you sang a song and made that sound. Lots to unpack there. Oh, wow. I gotta hear that part again. Hear how she's, I mean, she's not singing anymore, but she's exercising her range all over that place. And her tonality gets this sort of brashness. She's going in between two different characters, even in the midst of not singing, right? It's not about the notes. Absolutely here. It's different tonalities, different levels of playfulness. And then the rhythm. <laughs> She, she grits it up there a little bit. That's the creating a certain intensity with your voice and then holding it back a little bit with the area above your voice box. Again, just a little hint of it. <laughs> Going back and forth, head voice and chest voice. Ah, I just have to say I love the arranging. The slidey O's and back that are tight in and of themselves, but loose in the way they're performed. And that juxtaposition by the quick on her feet, quick with her voice, lead line. Smart arranging, smart writing. <laughs> It's like a guttural sigh at the very beginning of that. What a shiga! You can get there by just sighing at the very beginning of the line, and then as you're connecting into your actual voice, uh, uh, right? Your, your primary chord engagement. You get that, that really engaged, gritty sound. That's different than the technique she was using earlier. Number one, it's bringing her in from the bottom. And number two, you don't hear a pitch as much in the midst of that sound. Metal singers use a similar approach to get that sort of sound. She heats up her voice so subtly and brings it in and out. Now, I'm using subtitles to get the lyrics, but 
Notice how she cleans up her voice as the lyrics are saying, gotta clean up this brainwash. Subtly impersonating how a cat may speak, following the lyrics with sounds from her voice, not just singing. This is far more than just singing. This is musical acting. This is connected experiential expression. And no matter what kind of genres you're interested in or what kinds of singers you study the most, studying Addo's approach and learning from her freedom, her playfulness, but also how she implements technique, not for technique's sake, but for story's sake. <laughs> it's a whole other world to wrap your mind around when you're learning how to sing. And it's really the best way to learn how to sing. Be sure to check out my other Addo videos that I've done. And again, if you'd like help learning how to sing in a free and expressive, non-judgmental way, click that link below and join my free course. We'll see you for more.